E-ink technology has come quite a long way since the first Kindle was introduced 17 years ago. Now finally Amazon decided to hop on the bandwagon and release their first color e-ink reader into the market, the Kindle Colorsoft. Now the Colorsoft isn't the first color e-reader in the market. It's actually quite late since other brands like Kobo, Books or Remarkable have already ventured into color e-ink readers. But Amazon's strategy seems to be more like Apple this time around, offering a premium product for a premium price. I had around one week of testing and reviewing it and straight from the unboxing I had a single question pop into my mind. Who is this actually for? Holding it in my hands for the first time, this is most definitely a Kindle. Being used to a paper white, holding the color soft felt immediately, well, routine. The same weight, the same plastic outer shell, almost the exact same display size of 7 inch instead of 6.8. It offers a 300 ppi resolution for black and white content, giving you the same sharp images and text you're used to on your paper white. For color content, this adjusts to 150 ppi, which is still sharp and clear for you to read. But coming from a paper white, I still had to adjust to the new display. Reading a book felt for lack of better words, fussy for a couple of minutes until I adjusted to it. Now this isn't a deal breaker whatsoever, but it isn't great either. Zooming in on images was easy and you don't lose any sort of resolution while doing it. Everything is still sharp enough. Hardware wise, the new iteration feels very familiar, even though there is quite a lot of changes under the plastic hood. It now can be charged wirelessly. It has an extra set of LEDs in the front to light up the screen. This time, well, it's automatically. Which is fine and worked well in different lighting scenarios. It's still fully waterproof as expected and it has slightly worse battery life of only 8 weeks instead of 12. Let's say how it is, this is still more than enough for your daily 30 minutes of reading before going to bed or your 2-3 to three hours on your probably 2 weeks holiday. What I mostly noticed after using the Colorsoft for a couple of days as my primary reading device over the Paperwhite was the much speedier page turns. Comparing this with the Paperwhite, there is a visible difference in how fast and fluid everything now looks when you're actually scrolling, when you're typing on the keyboard and more. Now testing out the colors with different comics, I found them to be enjoyable and actually fine. They are a tad flatter than I've imagined, even when the vibrant setting, which there is one, is turned on, but it's still nice to be able to enjoy your comics in color now. But this is also one of the problems I have with the color display. I don't really see the need for it, especially in my daily use. As long as you aren't a comic aficionado, I don't get what this is for. Yes, of course, book covers and images in books, which there aren't that many, look better in color. I like the signature value of seeing the cover of the book I'm reading in color as my wake up screen. And yes, comics are nicer to look at, but that's frankly it. A Kindle to me is still a book reading device and books and especially the stories inside are 99% black and white. I wonder if this is actually why they called it color soft, because it just brushes lightly above your existing book library, or maybe because it's not saturating your hunger for more color in your books. Another small thing I noticed, which I quite liked, is the addition of a small little bonus, well, on the back side. The Amazon Smile logo is coated in some kind of iridescent material, which is picking up different lights, giving it another soft splash of color. It's pretty cool, even though it's a small addition. So now that we've talked about what I actually like about the new Colorsoft, here are a couple of things I found not so great about it. Firstly, and probably most obvious to everyone who is interested in one, is the steep price tag of 290 euros. It's the same Paperwhite device with a color screen added. I got my older Paperwhite directly from Amazon for 150 euros. So to me, this is almost double the price tag of the same device with the splash of color. And for uh, the newer one, it's still 100 euros on top of the Paperwhite. So I don't know. And second, the display itself needs some manual fixing to bring it to the same levels as the Paperwhite in terms of luminosity. Bringing its brightness setting to around 13 or 14 made it much better for reading books and almost on par with the Paperwhite. 
Third, now after using it for five days, I can actually see a yellow band on the bottom part of the screen. After searching for this issue on the internet, I saw quite a lot of posts on Reddit which also have the same problem. And for me, this is not acceptable for a 289 euro product. And this can mostly be seen with max brightness on and the color temperature to the most bluish setting it can be. Hopefully this can be fixed by Amazon with a software update rather sooner than later. And fourth, the battery life doesn't seem to be as good as predicted by Amazon as well. I had a screen on time of two and a half hours at a brightness setting of roughly 15 and the battery life dropped from 80% to 45, which isn't acceptable in the slightest as well. This happened after a software update and this is way off the eight weeks promised. I haven't charged the Paperwhite in six weeks and it's still at 50% even though I've read at least an hour a day since the last charge. So right now I wouldn't advise you to buy the Colorsoft until at least Amazon fixed the yellow band problem that seemed to occur on quite a lot of the first generation Colorsoft devices. So here's my conclusion. Who is this for actually? I would say someone with an extensive collection of digital comics or someone who subscribed to Comixology. To me the charm of seeing the covers of books in color does not outweigh the price tag it has. If this would be a choice or if the paper white line would be discontinued and from now on there would only be colors of variants then I guess I wouldn't mind it. But for now, as someone who already owns a very good e-reader, in that case the Paperwhite, I would not go out buying the Colorsoft just for the splash of color it occasionally adds to your reading experience. So, thank you very much for watching. My name is Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. There are plenty more of this type of content and of course many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day, see you around and goodbye.